Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Sarah of the Verse, and this is Minecraft. I'm back in the Twilight Forest, and I would like to find some Nico. Oh shoot, that storm is horrible, right? So basically, I would like to find some Nico because I want to build a better power generator, and without Nico, I can't make any Invar which I need and it's horrible guys right so let's try to plant more or place more torches yeah they are laughing at me already oh silver okay so silver goes with me for sure there is a little bit of lead oh that's nice like a lead and silver together that's not bad so oh copper ore okay oh shoot yeah, but I'm running this uh, inventory tweaks mod, I think that's the name for it. And when you break a tool, it will replace that broken tool with a new tool. If, of course, if you do have a spare tool in your, in your inventory. So I would like to go a little bit deeper. I want to get some lava and... Oh shoot, no, oh, <laughs> I had almost a heart attack, alright, so this is, this was just the water, I was just imagining, imagining a creeper behind me, just waiting for me to go for, go backwards, okay, tin ore, not bad, oh, Mr. Skeleton, and these guys, Ouch! What did you? Why? <laughs> oh, many! How many of them is there? Ouch! Yeah, yeah, and one more. Right? Oh shoot! Okay, die! All right. <laughs> I think I need to eat something. Oh, I don't want to eat raw pork chop. Right? Yeah, they are laughing at me again. Let's go deeper. What is this? Oh, that's tin. Oh, I think I I found what I wanted to find. Oh no, that's the lead. Okay, so a zombie is trying to get me, right? Not this time. Bye bye. And wow, it is very very dark. So let's see what ores do we have here. So this is lead from immersive engineering, all right. I would like to find some nickel from, at least from immersive engineering. I would be so happy for it. So I do have all my fingers crossed. Let's drop these roots. And this is getting dark. Oh shoot. So what is this? Oh, that's tin, okay. This looks like uh, water to me. <laughs> okay, stop laughing at me, guys, right? It's not nice. Okay, so just like that. I will plug all the holes, or most of it. What is this, copper? Okay, oh, copper is good for bronze. And I was thinking... Or I was talking about it several times that I would like to build finally the Tinker's Construct of Forge for creating better tools. But I'm just getting sidetracked all the time, so I do want to apologize, guys, alright? So, oh, oh, what, what, what? What is this? Oh, this is coal, iron, and coal, and oh, redstone, oh, that's. Another extra redstone ore. Good. The redstone ore goes with me. So hopefully I will find some lava. Like I, I know where I can find lava in the overworld, but I would like to get some lava. I think I can hear bubbling the, the lava very close to me. So let's find it, right? Oh, I have only 12 torches, that's not very good. What is this? 
Oh, lapis. Nice. Lapis goes with me. <laughs> so, do we have... Oh, redstone. Alright. And more redstone. That's a good sign, right? So, we get redstone. And what do we have here? Oh, zombies. Okay. So, I will plant more torches I think this will be fun to get out from this hole yo what's up nice <laughs> nice to meet you let's try to jump inside and let's see what happens out it hurts right oh no please archer yeah because why not, right? I would like to have a crossbow. Oh, another archer. Catch this. Is he, yeah, is he going after me? After all, right? <laughs> I need to stop saying right. Because if this would be a game for adults, like a drinking game, I would say you wouldn't see the end of the video or the episode because you would be on the on the ground already so let's try to make some platform here and oh no this is going to to the surface we don't want to go to the surface we want to go deeper so let's go deeper maybe i should eat some oh my inventory is getting Corroded. So let's do some inventory upgrades, just like this. This is how to do it if you have uh, the traveler's backpack installed. Oh, shoot. Yep. So let's eat the steak. And the skeleton is right here. Yo. Okay. Platon is dead. And I do have only five torches. That's not good. So should I go deeper or should I go back for more torches and maybe some food as well? Because I'm not sure if you know, this is a good idea right now. Just five torches and... Hmm. I think I can fix that. Can I get some sticks from... The root, maybe I can. So let's go here. Oh, Tertus Quartz. That goes with me for sure because it. I will need it for applied energetic uh, storage system, which is very expensive to build, but it is one of the best mods I <clears throat> ever tried. And now I can't play any Minecraft mod pack without it. What is this? Silver ore. No, we need nickel, guys. Let's invest a torch. Oh, uranium ore? In... In immersive engineering? What? Silver, silver, ore silver, and silver, and surgeon squads. Very good. I need to find maybe uh, the presses for... That's silver as well, so I will take everything what is here. And it looks like this was maybe some kind of a very small vein of uh, Sertus Quartz. That's not good. Oh, that's not bad. That's what I wanted to say. Do we? Oh, I don't have the boots anymore, but I do have spares. So I think if I will cut these roots, I will get the sticks. And if I do have the sticks, I can make torches. In my backpack so let's do some torches so just like that and the coal boom and now i do have 48 torches so i'm saved i would say like not completely saved oh nickel ore perfect that's exactly what i wanted i do have finally plenty of resources so i need to go back uh, home and i will toss everything into the pulverizers and I will get double of the resources. So, for example, if I do have 
one iron ore, I will get two iron dusts, I think. Or is it pulverized iron? I can't remember. But I will show you in a sec, right? So this is the pulverizer. Let's toss there. Hmm, not uranium. But what about the nickel, right? So it is pulverizing. And I should get... I have a two pulverized nickels and I will have four. So let's take a look. So now I have four, perfect. So everything what can be pulverized, I will toss here and I will get double the resources. So lead, gold, iron and basically anything or everything else. And I was thinking to make my base a little bit more nice. So I will place these jars with fireflies inside around the base so at least i will find a way home or during the night or in the evening when everything is dark so let's unload what we have search of course crystal oh this is charged all right that's not bad but i need to make a space oh i have one cent nice <laughs> so let's toss it there and do we have the power? Yes, we do, but we don't have the water. I think I need to get the water in my base as soon as possible. Because this is going to be a pain running around to get the water for the dynamo. And as I was saying, I would like to have a, a magmatic a dynamo, which is better because I think it doesn't need the water and you can get lava for free like in nether basically there is an almost unlimited amount of lava so let's check my backpack what do we have here maybe I should uh, make some charcoal just like that and I need to keep some wood for later just in case because I'm sure I will need wood or oh, uranium or from immersive engineering so what can i do with that hmm. let's place it here just like that i think it it it, it will add like a shiny effect <laughs> to my skin and uh, i think i need to get some food so what do we have here gold ingots oh lapis all right lapis goes there oh shoot i'm running out of space i think i can do the bricks with the with the stones right like stone bricks just like that and now i don't know what to do with them oh now i know i can store stone bricks over there so what next white wool yep that's needed all the time and what about the lapis oh shoot yeah i think i need the wood and i need to make more barrels i think so i will steal the wood from here no more charcoal and i will need this so let's get some barrels so one two and maybe one more so oh what do i need oh i don't have the wood anymore but i will get wood soon so i don't want i don't want to have a barrel above my bed because i will hit my head for sure when i wake up so that's not what we want and let's store lapis in one of the, those barrels maybe the redstone as well about the lapis just like that and let's see oh i have more crap in my uh, backpack so i will try to unload everything except the food yeah i did unload the food as well so golden nuggets here perfect sartus warns there i don't need saplings i think i need to 
I can burn them. But I can store the the redstone here and what's next? Where where is my sword? I think I toss it somewhere, right? Oh shoot, I I am probably blind. Oh here. Oh shoot. I was a little bit scared. So let's make this uh, second pulverizer running as well. So everything will be a little bit faster and I will toss uranium or over there and maybe skeleton skull here. <laughs> Just a warning, you know guys like a don't go here. Adam lives there and you could lose your head. So what's next? We have fuel. Yes we do. But I need the water. Oh, now I know guys. I completely remember. I need conduits. So let's take a look. Conduit binder, right? And I need to make a conduit binder composite. So I need gravel, sand and clay. So let's take a look if we do have... Oh shoot, I don't have much clay. I have just a little bit. But what about the gravel? I do have a little bit of gravel. What about here? Oh shoot. I I forget that I made a lot of hmm, not mistakes, but when the gravel gets into this chest then it gets uh, grinded into a sand. So gravel, this and maybe one stack of sand. So I will make that composite binder just like that so we have eight and i think i can make just a little bit more so we have now 24 so let's make eight more so that's 32 and i would like to have pressurized weight conduit but fused quartz oh shoot this is getting interesting right so guys, I was thinking what should I build next and I think the most logic step would be to build an induction smelter, which is not hard to do. So let's do it. I will need pulverized nickel and iron for the invar. Do I have more? Yes, I do. Perfect. So let's try to make it. So first I will need invar ingots. So to do that, I need one pulverized nickel and two pulverized iron. So just like that. So let's do it again. Oh, shoot. Maybe I can do it this way. Maybe just like that. Two and two. So we will have nine invar blends. So now I need to smelt it somewhere. Maybe, <laughs> maybe here. So this is the only which has oh no no i have space i have more space but we will do it there so now we need two copper gears oh i have only eight okay so one two three four one two three four so one two we have the copper gears we need redstone reception coil so i need one gold ingot and redstone redstone should be somewhere behind me just like that so that the reception coil is easy to craft i have it now so what's next oh i need two sands what one two just like that and now i need this hard part so that's iron glass and tin gear i'm not sure if i do have tin oh no, that's Invar. Okay, so Invar goes with me just in case. And do I have any tin? Aluminium? Alright. What about the tin? Maybe I'm blind, but I'm sure I do have tin somewhere here. Silver, lead, pulverized tin. So let's melt it. So we try. Yeah, this furnace. So we need pulverized tin. 
and I was saying I need glass as well so I will unload my inventory just a little bit do we have the tin ready not yet I guess what I'm oh 11 yeah I was I was just blind I'm sorry guys so what do we need and we need tin gear I have it now and four iron ingots that's a piece of cake I do have plenty of iron so let's craft this machine frame and the last thing is the invar gear so let's do it just like that and boom now I do have basic induction smelter but I now I need to do something else so I need to take this puppy from there I will put the smell like induction smelter over there because I need or I want to do some alloys so where should I park the basic induction uh, pulverizer so I will place it here I'm sorry pulverizer you'll be there and next thing what I want to do I'm just thinking right oh now I know I can have sand so let's get the sand inside this puppy I can lock this slot and I can put there let's say the pulverized uh, gold and the smelting will be just a little bit faster so can we auto input disabled yeah disabled because I don't want this uh, induction smelter to pull everything from there so I think I can reprogram these slots like I turn, turn them off and because I don't I don't need I don't use them and this is going to be the pulling slot from from the from this chest and this is the output slot on the right side so everything is fine I would say and yeah I did a little bit more like I'm very happy with with the progress in this episode so I can't complain and I do have the the power right now and I do have induction smelter and next thing what I would like to do is uh, some conduits but I think I need to start with the basic conduits and I need in inductive or not inductive conductive iron ingots and that's why I need this uh, induction smelter so let's try maybe 12 so now I can swap this redstone with this puppy or with the sand and now I can toss inside the iron and I will get the alloy like uh, the conductive iron ingot and when I will have conductive iron ingots then I can make finally energy conduits which will make everything much much more simpler so what is happening come on come on I need oh we do have so I need one more I think and then I can finally rough something but I think uh, I will park the invar into the chest and conduit binder composite as well oh pulverized iron pulverized nickel I will need them later and I think this is it right so that right goes there so guys thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one this is the way